には弓矢以外は使わないって。どんな力だっていい全部使って俺が守る落ちてゆくがいい守る乱れて砕け散る What's going on? Back plugged in again! It's your boy the prophet man so today i got a super super special video for you guys i have a special guest as well me and my boy tuki bankai are going to go ahead and talk about the three best characters in the game if you missed part one it is linked in the description make sure you go check it out because you want to know why all the numbers are where they are and we talk about each character um you want to know why we put them where we are at the end of the video we're going to tally this up and we're going to tell you who is the best character in the game Tuki. booty team booty souls hope that you're gonna enjoy the show guys let's go with this the best unit uryu ichigo aizen excuse about it remember to check the part one for more information and let's go bankai so basically where we are is We are categorizing each of the characters 7th anniversary Ichigo, 7th anniversary Uryu, and 6th anniversary Aizen. Okay, so we have all of these distinctive、uh, categories、mm -hmm. that represent game modes of the game, right? So we're at a point where you can't just say one character is better because there are skills that are literally made for some game modes. The best example is Uryu's status element increased chance against any power enemy. So that is the best skill for inheritance trial, okay? Or the Ichigo、so、you know, SPR and bombardment making the Guild Quest God, yeah. Absolutely, yes. And Ichigo is the Guild Quest God. So it's like, if you, you can't say, oh, Ichigo is better, Uryu is better because they're both made for different game modes. And then. We have the transcendent one, 6th anniversary Aizen, who basically right now is like the ultimate all arounder because he's great in every single game mode. There's、Aizen、not a game mode in this game he's not good at. Aizen is just amazing, I love it so much. But yeah, guys, remember every player just c a r e about some part of the game and every other not. Say that one unit is better than the other. That's a very good point, my friend. We're basically making this video so that you guys have a place to come and talk to because I know people are going to be active in a lot of discords, a lot of comment s e c t i o n I'm already seeing it. We already know how certain things are going to interact with others, right? We know Udiu is going to be the best for Arena. We know. Ichigo is going to be the best for Guild Quest, but what are the other game modes? And we're going to work on the last three. About Epic r i g h t I guess that Ichigo will destroy, as Noel, SP Up, and Bombardment will take probably the first part of the Epic r i g h t Easy. Pound! Yeah! <laughs> With weakened、yeah. defense and full stamina. Pound! First part of the Epic r i g h t Bye bye. This might be the category where they're all 10. God! I think that Aizen may be the worst for Epic r i g h t At, well, that's the thing. He's the worst for epic raids, like compared to these guys. But we all know what 6 Andy Eisen does to epic raids. Like, bye bye. He's, he's bye bye. But for sure, well, 7th anniversary Ichigo and 7th anniversary Uryu are definitely a bit better than <laughs> Eisen in epic raids for different reasons. But they are all incredible. And, like, especially if there are ever bonuses, which we know that you know, Ichigo and Uryu will be bonuses. Aizen was carrying、uh, without bonus. I remember using my Aizen、yeah. just to carry epic rides. I mean, like 10 15 second runs. You imagine with a bunch of Ichigos and Uryus, they're gonna be trying to check、uh, our room for modders because they're gonna be like、Again. five second <laughs> rooms. When it's Ichigo on the Uryu day, for sure, bro. Max 10, it is what it is.、Done. Best unity、Done. game, Epic r i g h t Easy.、Um, Manual Ultra IT Co op. None of them are Super Potion or Droplet or Regular Potion. We、But、understand. We are not looking for it, it's just about playing. I mean, not the、Absolutely. drop, just about the playing. The carry, if you wish, carry the other people. 
an agent Absolutely. work super good i mean yeah. we are on manual also for manual is super good but yeah. no have increased status element chance but for ultra it need to increase the status element chance i guess a nine for eisen yeah i would say a couple things to consider about uh it either has spiritual he has frenzy plus two so his second strong attack he has an absurd amount of hits with his second strong attack so he will still proc status elements as long as you have it up. Uryu, for example, no have the vortex of Aizen, but it's very fast with long stride. Gonna be a so safe unit. Also have a beam, have yeah. the drain that gonna heal you, the debuff. I, I guess that Uryu should be a 10 on this case for the manual. Uryu, 100%. Uryu is a 10 for sure. They all three have dual status elements. But yeah. I am agree also the Ichigo have the vortex and yeah. have the enervator and the immobilizer that are gonna make a lot of SP up. Ichigo is gonna be amazing in co-op. He's gonna inflict status elements every couple of seconds without using strong attacks. Just and move. that is incredible. Yeah, just for moving. Like, and they're just afflicted with weakening and paralysis. Like, it's gonna be insane. He's gonna stop his teammate from being afflicted by a status element. His paralysis so, too. Uryu is made for IT, but his kit isn't as good as Ichigo's or Aizen for that event. Mm -hmm. Uryu has the best skill in the game for IT, and that's uh, increased status element chance by 10% of any power enemy. This is so crazy, I mean, gonna help you more than the vortex of the other ones. Yeah, but if we move to the auto, gonna be different because Uryu is melee. I mean, the gauge right. gonna help so much on co-op, you can use it probably one time, two yeah. times, maybe three, yep. if the co-op is so long and you aren't carrying people. Yep. But on auto, gonna be another thing. I mean, on auto, Uryu, it's melee. Uryu gonna be good for auto, for sure, but not the Aizen or the Ichigo job with the Vortex and Ranged. And also Aizen heals with the Drain. I mean, Aizen is just another level. The combination of Weaken and Drain is probably the best combination that they will ever make. In my opinion. It's very interesting, yeah. Also, Uryu yeah. have the same combination, but at the same time, it's melee. I guess that yeah. should be an 8, not gonna be a bad unit, because also yeah. fr Frenzy plus 2 and a lot of damage with the gouge, damage taken on, that's gonna help the auto, but um, it's just melee. As far as the 7th anniversary Ichigo, I would say he's, he's definitely better than Uryu, he has to be at least a 9. Which is for the immunity, yes, it's so good. Yep, for the for the immunity as well as the status element proc. He's gonna help. Imagine with that you as just well. running and randomly enemies get paralyzed, one boss get randomly paralyzed, all your team safe. <laughs> Let's go. Yep, keeps you safe. Absolutely, absolutely keeps you safe. And he doesn't allow you to be um hit by a status element. How that skill works is Ichigo have to be afflicted with the status element, and then for 10 seconds it will clear that status element off all of his teammates so in something like it autoing there's puddles of poison there's puddles of freeze there's puddles of weaken you know so you got ichigo autoing and he's pretty much they're pretty much always going to be standing in those dang you know ailment puddles so he's you know as long as he's in there and he's afflicted by an ailment no one on his team can be afflicted and it'll clear that ailment for 10 seconds think about that you're only afflicted by status elements and co-op for five seconds because they don't have debilitator and then it's clear for 10 seconds so amazing which character do i feel is best overall aizen is probably the best character overall but it's just very hard to say because ichigo is the best in guild quest so if you care about guild quest if you're like Adio Neto, I mean, if you're like Tuki, like you're in the S rank guild, like you're going to want to get Ichigo five out of five and you're going to want to try for those one second runs. You know what I'm saying? Like Ichigo is going to be the best in the game for that. And Uryu is the best out of these three for Arena and for IT. But Aizen is the best auto out of them. And he's the best in more game modes you know he's still god tier in every single game mode including pvp if you take pvp out the equation then it's like a lot more a lot closer 
but looking at the numbers so as far as total points in our ranking system that we have here Ichigo is on the bottom with 67 points Udiyu is at 70 points and Aizen is at 73 most of that difference is made up in PvP but some people do value brave battles because you get medals and you get access to extreme co-op which is now better than ever this depends on the people taste which game mode you love more than the others for example i'm more worried about the speed run than other modes it's depending everyone taste as very good as my friend told if you check in how much game modes the unit just got tier is the best tier i think it's just one category more than the other yeah. ones. Aizen have five categories, domination, and other units have four categories, domination. And it's just for the PvP. It's kind of funny, I like it so much, because I like Aizen, it's transcending everything, and it's transcending the seven anniversary too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, it's extremely close, and it truly does come down to opinion and what you value more. Personally, I value strong attacks more than pretty much anything, and Ichigo needed to do one thing to beat Aizen. All Ichigo had to do was have a, a slightly better first strong attack instead of K-Lab making a new first strong attack, and it's not good. It's kind of a letdown, and I so mean, people saw. Maybe it can be interesting because looks big. I mean, maybe we can have hope and gonna be some kind of a small third strong or something as this yeah i thought about that too and once you see the gameplay i was analyzing it and there was a point where there's two waves of enemies and they're like level one hollows and ichigo kills the first wave and he literally just does one tick of damage on the second wave that was a lunge or a beam or anything else both of those waves are dead instantly so yeah it's just the eisen beam the red sub beam the good beam that caleb have the udu beam like Udi yeah beam the Udi the Udi beam. Beam. <laughs> yep yep he had the same beam so um and then when it comes down to it eisen has a better kit than both of the characters but ichigo has a better soul bomb and Udiyu is the king of arena undisputed king of arena and he is the best out of these three as a carry to manual in yeah. IT. The main point yeah. is that Aizen have the best kit. I mean, Caleb yeah. did it very OP characters, Bombardment, SP Up, the Uriu New Gouge, the Arena Domination and all that you wish, but Aizen have better kit. The Beam, the Supreme Vortex, same as Ichigo, very good job Caleb, and the yeah. third strong, that is just a very good third strong. Uriu have I've... the first and the third, but no have the Vortex, and Ichigo have the second and the third, but no have the Beam. Yep, yep, and there's always something, they, they always make amazing characters that are have one flaw. Ichigo has the, the best soul bomb in the game, and some people were upset he didn't get Frenzy plus two. Well, 40% Berserker it's with crazy. weakening, with spiritual pressure boost 80%, is going to allow him to hit for higher numbers than Isaac, even though he has Frenzy plus two. That spiritual pressure boost 80%, is the best boost for damage in the game and That's normally it. this boost is not for all the time as frenzy plus two is forever and ever but ichigo have the double random status element i mean you're gonna be just moving running and boom sp boost sp up sp yeah. boost i mean ichigo is really an amazing unit and gonna be a crazy nuker the guild quest bomb nuker run is gonna be really funny to see yep yeah, absolutely. And so that is pretty much the best unit of Bleach Brave Souls. And make sure you guys weigh in and let us know in the description how you guys feel. We're doing this video so you guys have a place to talk about this discussion in the comment section. We've weighed out all of the game modes, put everything together. It's not just about one game mode. So we want to hear you guys' opinion on what you value most. And that'll help us in the future. And maybe it'll help K-Lab if they're paying attention. Thank you, D. Arigato. It was a very funny time. Hope that you enjoyed it, guys. Remember, smash the like, subscribe to the channels, move around, and enjoy. Because we are on anniversary. Happy, happy anniversary. Happy.
absolutely guys and make sure you checked out part one in the description and go subscribe to my boy Tuki if you haven't already and shout out to all of our creators man we're all doing it big and I hope you guys enjoyed the video man till next time Prop Nation love y'all I'm out